Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again, and Squid Game's popularity on the internet has been nothing short of insane. I mean, what's the deal with Squid Game? Is it a squid? Or is it a game? Anyhow, I thoroughly enjoyed watching it, and I also thoroughly enjoy making monkey's fists. The pink soldiers in the show were nothing short of iconic, cold, emotionless, and haunting. So let's make a keychain commemorating this awesome series. In terms of materials, I'm using pink and black paracord, but I think fuchsia would actually be a more accurate color. I'm also using a 1 inch steel ball as the core. I'd suggest a wooden or cork ball though actually, because if you know, you know. And I'm going to be attaching it to this black split ring. I'm first going to place my steel ball into my monkey's fist jig. Now, I highly recommend one of these if you're planning on making a monkey's fist an inch or larger. Next, I'm going to fuse my pink and black cords together. I'm going to snip off the ends, melt them briefly with my lighter, and then hold the molten ends together. And just before they cool off, I'm going to roll the join in between my fingers. Be very careful when doing this. Now, I have asbestos fingertips, which are dead, much like me inside. I'm joking, so it'd be best if you dipped your fingers in water first. Now, I'm going to start wrapping my black cord around the bearing and jig for five passes and notice I'm wrapping to the left of my joined section. I want the joined section to finish in between the metal rods on the front side of the steel ball. You may have to play around with this a few times to get the join to finish right there. From here, we're going to pivot 90 degrees and start wrapping the pink cord around the first set of black passes. We're going in between the guide rods and you're going to do five passes like before. Keep everything neatly stacked and make sure the cords aren't twisted. And just let me take a moment to say, if you're enjoying the content here and want to see more and support the channel, please feel free to like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And for the final set of passes, I'm going to place a lacing needle on my pink cord and I'm going to start wrapping the third set of passes around the second set while going under the first black set. The lacing needle goes under the black set of passes, around the back, and then under the second set, on the far side of the monkey's fist, and then we're back to the start. Sorry, this camera angle sucks. So here is a better look. The passes are going round and round, much like a hamster on a hamster wheel, like us, living our lives. Eat, sleep, work, repeat, eat, sleep, sorry. Anyhow, the wraps make their way up, and then you can remove your monkey's fist from the jig. From here, you can tighten the monkey's fist. Just work the slack out of the monkey's fist, starting with the black passes, and work the slack out its running end, and then do the pink section. Now remember, there is a hidden join for the two fused cords, and you wanna keep that section under wraps, pun intended. Now, if you need tips on tightening the monkey's fist, I have a dedicated video for that. With that done, we're going to tie a double snake knot. With a pink strand on top, I'm going to grab the pink strand and make an overhand loop around the black strand. The black strand then wraps around the pink strand and then goes through the pink loop from the back to the front. Close that slightly, and then we're going to double up the strands. So take the pink strand and make a second loop through the black loop. Then turn it over and take the black strand and pass it through the two pink loops. We've tied our double snake knot and now tighten the knot and cinch the knot as close to the monkey's fist as possible. Just work the slack out the running ends. Using a spike or fid might help. We're now going to tie a string of snake knots to form our key chain. Using the same method as before, make an overhand loop with the pink strand around the black. The black strand then goes around the pink strand to the back and then through the loop from the back to the front. And just pull on the running ends and tighten it up. Repeat the snake knot process and tie about seven snake knots. Now I am using the Tibetan method here. I do find it the fastest and easiest. 
If you need a detailed tutorial on this, I have a video for that. So just continue tying down your keychain. And apparently monks would use this method and meditate while they tied their mala beads. So if you're feeling stressed out, just tie some snake knots or something. Now to attach my key ring, I'm going to pass the pink strand through the front of the split ring and the black strand goes through the split ring from the back to the front, leaving about half an inch or two centimeters of space from the key ring to the snake knots. Then with the pink strand, pass it over the core strands to the left and under the black strand. The black strand goes behind the core and out the pink crook on the right. And pull that first cobra knot tight. That rhymes. Continue tying, and the lead pink strand is now on the left. Lay it over the core strands and then under the black strand. Black goes behind the core strands and then through the pink crook now on the left. Pull tight and tie two more cobra knots. When that's done, we can snip the excess pink and black cords, melt with the lighter, and press down on the ends to lock them in place. I'm now going to dunk my monkey's fist in hot tap water to give it a final tighten and then let it dry. And now for the triangle detail, I'm going to take some thinner white 325 paracord. I'm going to gut it by snipping the ends and pulling the inner strands out. Then I'm going to dip it in some water and flatten the cord with a hair straightening iron that I borrowed from the lady I live with. To attach, we're going to take some super glue and simply glue a triangular shape on the black section of the monkey's fist. Now be a lot more careful than I was as super glue can get a little messy, hence the gloves. You know, it's always harder to do stuff on camera. Now after gluing down the first part, I put a little glue at the very apex of the triangle. And then from there, I put another little dot on the inside of the white cord, and then bend it downwards to form that corner. Hold it down as the glue dries. So continue gluing down the white cord on each side. Use the glue sparingly if you can. Once again, a drop of glue on the corner and fold it over to form the second corner. And finally, match it up to where you started. Once that's glued down, you can snip off the excess white cord, and melt the end slightly to seal it. Now, if there are any loose parts that aren't fully glued down, just add any drops of super glue as needed. And there we have it, Weavers, our Squid Game Monkey's Fist keychain. If you haven't checked the series out yet, I'd highly recommend it. So a huge thank you to all my current Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible. If you want access to exclusive content and the Weavers of Eternity Discord, and want to support the channel directly, please feel free to check out my Patreon page. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support the channel by liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. If you enjoyed the content here, please feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.